Hi class, in this video what I want to do is I want to start section 1.7 of our e-text. And now this, this section is about the chain rule and I'm going to break this lecture up into a couple videos um, as, as the lecture is a little long, but um, the, this chain rule is one of the most important tools in your toolbox for finding the derivative. And before we introduce the chain rule, I want to talk about uh, theorem 7, what's called the extended power rule. And it goes like this. Suppose g of x is some differentiable function of x. Okay, so here's, here's g of x. All right, then for any real number k, all right, so I want to find the derivative with respect to x of g of x raised to the k power. Okay, well, the general power rule, we know what we would do. We would take the exponent, we would bring it down. So you bring the exponent down in front and then you subtract one from the exponent. Notice how you leave this g of x stays. Okay, you don't do anything with g of x. And then you multiply this by the derivative of g of x. Okay, so you might hear me say this uh, as the lectures go on. It's the derivative of the outside So what I mean by the derivative of the outside is you take the exponent and you find the derivative of the exponent using the power rule times the derivative of the inside. Okay, so after you take the derivative of the exponent on the outside, you multiply it by the derivative of what's inside here. So let's go through a couple examples so you can see this at work here. All right, so let's differentiate this function. So f of x is equal to, and then in parentheses, x plus 3 squared. So this is the inside part. This is the g of x in the formula. And this exponent is the outside. All right, so what we're seeing here is f prime of x is equal to, what you're going to do is you're going to take the derivative of the exponent, bring it down front, 2, Notice you leave g of x, whatever's inside there. Then you take this and you write it as 2 minus 1 times, now you've got to do the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of x is just 1, like this. So this is just equal to 2 times x plus 3, and then 2 minus 1 is 1. Or you can even distribute this, right? This becomes 2x plus six. All right, now did, does seems a little weird. Does that work? Well, let me just check this and show you. So f of x is equal to, if you were to expand this out, you would see that this would be equal to x squared plus six x plus nine. And then if you take the derivative of this, right? Well, this is the derivative of x squared is just two x. The derivative of 6x is just 6. Look, it's the same thing. So this extended power rule works, right? Let's do um, let's do a couple more just so you can see um, a little bit harder problems here. All right, so we got this one. All right, let's find the derivative. So differentiate f of x is equal to, in parentheses, 1 plus x cubed to the 1 half power. Okay, so this is the inside. And this is the outside. So f prime of x is equal to, take the derivative of the outside. So bring the 1 half down, 1 plus x cubed to the 1 half minus 1 times, now you take the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. So just to clean this up a little bit, this is 1 half, this is 1 plus x cubed to the minus 1 half power times 3x squared. Well, you can even write this then as 3x squared divided by 2, and then the square root, sorry, it's a little crooked there, 1 plus x cubed. So just here's, what, here's what's going on, right? You take the derivative of the outside, bring it down, whoosh, and then you do minus 1 from the exponent, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. All right, let's do another one. 
Okay, so here this is the quotient rule, right? Because you have um, 3x minus 5 quantity raised to the fourth power, and then you have um, 7 minus x quantity raised to the tenth power. So you have to use the product rule. It's a product chain rule here. Okay. F prime of x. You leave this alone. I'm just going to write this all out. It's 3x minus 5 to the fourth power times the derivative of this. Plus, you leave this alone, times the derivative of this. Okay. So to go through it, what I you might even want to try here, um, you know, just pausing the video. Um, and, and and seeing if you could you could solve it you know just to, just to see but you know I'll give you a second to do that and then what I'll do is I will you know I'll show you how to do this all right so let's go through it so this right here stays times the derivative of this you bring the 10 down you leave this alone 10 minus 1 becomes 9 and then the derivative of the inside, well, the derivative of negative x is just negative 1, plus you leave this alone, times then the derivative of this. You bring the 4 down. You have 3x minus 5. 4 minus 1 gets you 3, times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of the inside here is just the derivative of 3x is just 3. So then you can just even clean this up, right? So the minus 1 times 10 gets me minus 10. 3x minus 5 to the 4th power times 7 minus x to the 9th power. And then 4 times 3 gets me plus 12. 7 minus x to the 10th power times 3x minus 5 cubed. And you could factor out from here, but I'll, I'll leave it just like that, just so you can um, see how this is done without getting too bogged down in the weeds in algebra. All right, let's do, uh, let's do one more. So now this is a quotient rule. Whoosh, okay. So f prime of x. So for your quotient rule, okay, remember this is the numerator of x and this is the denominator of x. Okay, so the derivative, just recall, the derivative with respect to x of n of x divided by d of x. So you just had to follow this formula, right? It's the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, so n prime of x, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared, right? We just have to recall that formula. It's a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, you know, arduous to work through. But if you just follow the formula, it's it's not too bad. So f prime of x. So you can take the denominator times the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of this, okay, is ends up just being four x minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of the denominator here, what you have to do is you uh, you have to chain rule this, right? So you take the derivative of the outside, which is two times three x to the fourth plus two. And then this becomes two minus one times the derivative of the inside here. So the derivative of the inside just becomes 12 x cubed, all divided by this squared. So this ends up squared squared becomes 3x to the fourth plus 2 to the fourth power. So really at this point you can just clean it up a little bit. So you can write this as 3x to the fourth plus 2 squared times 4x. So I'll just put the 4x in front minus 2 times 12x cubed gets me minus 24x cubed 
times 2x squared minus 1 times 3x to the fourth plus 2, and then just to the first power, all divided by 3x to the fourth plus 2 to the fourth power. Well, you can, you can even keep going, right? So like you could factor out a 3x to the fourth from each term and cancel. So this ends up just being 4x times 3x to the fourth plus 2 minus 24x cubed times 2x squared minus 1 all over 3x to the fourth plus 2 cubed. And then you can even, you can keep going with the algebra, right? Distribute here so you get 12x to the fifth power plus 8x, and then distribute here, minus 48x to the fifth power, minus, minus, minus becomes plus 24x cubed all over 3x to the fourth plus 2 cubed. Right, so there's a lot going on here, right? So then 12x to the fifth minus 48x to the fifth, this gets you minus 36x to the fifth plus 24x cubed plus 8x all divided by 3x to the fourth plus two cubed. And then you could even factor the numerator if you wanted to at this point, but I'll, I'll just leave it like this. Um, for this example. So there was a lot going on here. And as you can see that this stuff is really, um, really just a lot of algebraic methods. Um, so I'll, as I said before, I'm going to break this up into uh, a couple videos for this section. So we'll come back in the next video of this and uh, talk about um, composition of functions and then the specific chain rule.